Hi, this is Joe, and welcome to my shop. I'm going to be starting a video series called Money Saving Ideas for the Shop. We're going to be making some of our own tools, making a few trips to the big box hardware stores, you know, the orange one and the blue one. The first couple of ideas and tips are going to be pertaining to the subject of welding and how you can save some money while you're welding. I don't have a metal welding table. All my benches and uh, tables are made of wood. I've heard of people uh, taking metal plate and putting a metal plate on top of their wooden table or bench. The problem with that is the, con is the continual heat transfer goes between the metal and the wooden table, uh, scorching it and then over time weakening, weakening the wood. Uh, and if your table was level at one point, it soon will not be. I've looked at other possible alternatives. Uh, Harbor Freight sells a portable welding table, uh, right around $80. Um, and even though that's not a bad price, I would prefer to build my own table. Uh, but the cost of materials runs uh, $250, $300 on up, depending on how sophisticated of a table you, you make. Uh, there's also the situation of those people who may only weld several times a year. So even $80 is... Uh, from my standpoint, it's sort of hard to justify if you, if you only weld a little bit every year. Uh, so I've come up with some ideas uh, that can save everyone some money. Let's go over to the workbench and take a look at some ideas that I've come up with. Here you can see I have just a wooden foldable table picked up at the orange store. Uh, just has a, a wooden top. Uh, also, when I was at the orange store, I picked up a 12 inch by 12 inch porcelain tile. I believe uh, the price on that was uh, $1.50, $1.90, something like that. Looks to be about a quarter of an inch thick. Uh, here uh, in North San Diego, I'm lucky enough to have a couple metal salvage yards. Um, there's a couple things you can do if you don't have a metal salvage yard in your town. Uh, Right here is a 10 inch by 10 inch quarter inch plate. I paid $7.25 for this plate. Uh, you can then place that on top of the porcelain tile. Uh, if you, uh, the, uh, the, the metal salvage yards that I went to, they also have a 12 inch by 12 inch for $10.25. If you don't have a metal salvage yard uh, in your city or close by, uh, I picked up this. This is a 16 gauge um, steel plate. Looks like cold rolled steel. Um, as you can see there are some uh, MIG welding marks on that plate. So in this case uh, the 12 inch uh, sheet metal plate fits right on top of the porcelain tile. Um, also uh, when I'm welding I use a piece of, uh, if I'm welding steel, I use a piece of aluminum uh, just to try, uh, a aluminum plate that I use for heat transfer. So whatever particular item I happen to be welding, I put the, the in this case it's a steel tube, right on top of the aluminum plate and uh, that helps uh, absorb some of the heat out of the steel. And uh, I've done quite a bit of welding recently uh, as I'm practicing my TIG skills and I've gotten the plate rather hot this same plate here. I have placed my hand underneath the porcelain tile and uh, it's warm but it's not hot and I've done a tremendous amount of welding on that. It doesn't crack uh, the porcelain tile and it does, it does a nice shielding of uh, the, the heat transfer between the uh, porcelain tile, the metal plate, uh, and down to the table. The table's just been slightly warm when I lift that plate. So ideally if you have a a metal salvage yard in town, uh, you can pick up the quarter inch plate, much uh, thicker and uh, much nicer for welding on. If you don't pick up the uh, thin uh, 16 gauge uh, sheet metal plate, um, if you happen to be welding uh, aluminum or um, stainless, you can use um, either copper or steel. Uh, just depends. You don't want to weld on the same surface. If you're welding steel, you don't want to have a steel plate. So in this case, the aluminum plate works really well as a heat transfer. And when you're welding, it, does, uh, it doesn't uh, get hot and stick to the aluminum plate. 
if you're uh, in this case since I'm practicing I am just uh, using a, a single 12 by 12 inch uh, porcelain tile with the steel plate on top if you have a slightly larger, larger surface area that you want to weld uh, then buy several of these maybe form a cube of 12 inch by 12 inch tiles and then you can weld something bigger again the the um, the initial investment for this particular setup is very inexpensive and in this case again I've done a lot of testing and it doesn't damage the table uh, I've done MIG welding and TIG welding on top of this uh, configuration and it works very nicely so for uh, you know ten dollars twelve dollars for a single 12 by 12 inch configuration that's pretty cheap again if you want to large, uh, weld something larger buy multiple plates and multiple porcelain tiles and uh, you can you can do some welding in your garage or your shop or wherever you happen to be uh, rather inexpensively another thing that I uh, do is when I TIG weld I looked at the various uh, welding gloves out there anywhere anywhere from the Miller gloves to the Tillman to the Lincoln electric gloves uh, and they're all rather uh, you know 12 15 16 20 dollars for a pair of gloves I went over to Harbor Freight and was looking around and found a pair of these hardy uh, goatskin gloves for right around eight to ten dollars depending on uh, whether they have a sale or not and I really like the goatskin gloves they're soft uh, they do uh, they do keep uh, prevent some heat not a heck of a lot of heat if you're MIG welding but for TIG welding they're rather uh, they provide good uh, dexterity so you can uh, pick up the rod and you can move around uh, material fairly easy and it gives you uh, quite a comfortable grip for TIG welding so you know it possibly uh, half the price this is a pretty good deal Harbor Freight always has a wide selection of uh, of gloves and in this case uh, goat skin is pretty nice so there's uh, there's the first video on a few uh, ideas for uh, uh, cost savings on what you can do if you do some welding in your shop I uh, hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more uh, videos on how to save uh, money in your shop